Conversations. Conversations with with S. D. Booker. Booker. Now, I'm gonna switch gears two or three gears this time. Okay. Uh, and, and this wasn't part of the talking points, but I wanted to touch on this just to get your your take on it. Uh, my wife is big on this, but uh, I don't know how you and I got on this topic, but zodiac signs. And I think I mentioned it because something where we're talking about texting. I say, yeah, my my uh, my birthday is the, the way it falls is I'm a master teacher, the way it falls. Mm-hmm. And you say, well, wow, you, you are too, uh, because the way your birthday falls too. Uh, I've always been somewhat confused and conflicted with that because like I said, I was raised in the church. Um, mm-hmm. And so uh, they spoke against that, right? The Zodiac yes, sign. Yes, yes, they did. Yeah. But the older I got and the more I started reading, uh, the Bible really doesn't speak against the zodiac signs, the constellations. Actually, the zodiac signs constellations coincide uh, with the Bible and, mm-hmm. and, and everything that happens uh, around it uh, from the beginning to the end. Uh, can you bring some clarity to that? Uh, you know, I know I don't like the for people to lean on the zodiac signs too much. Right. Because we all have free will and we still got to do the work. Uh, but I, I just think it's a good framework uh, to, to bring. Uh, so you're not totally lost out there and you understand some things, but we still got to do the work. You still got to, you know, push forward. You still got to work on some things, correct some things. Right. And uh, yeah, you still got to push forward. So. Um, I don't know how, how deeply involved are you with the constellations and, and with the Bible and the zodiac signs, but um, yeah, us being two master teachers, I don't think it's an accident. We're on here together. Right. Yeah. I agree. Well, one of the things that's interesting, I know um, that I thought of this, you know, when my church was all against, you know, they, I know they're, they're all against that stuff. But, but in my mind, I'm not saying anything because I already knew that I'd get beat down if I said something. So that you right. don't say something. But, but my thought pattern was that, okay, so we, we take the story of, of the birth of Jesus, for example. And the wise men from the East said they had been studying this, the stars for how many years and they knew this was going to happen. Where'd that come from? If that's right. so wrong, how come that? And they followed this star to find this, this child. And okay. And it's not the only place. There's other places where it talks about the stars and stuff in the Bible. So right. I, I believe, you know, the, the alignments of the stars, no, we don't need to put too much into them, but the alignments I believe are important in some, some points, some aspects. I'll just give you an example of something that's coming up that I believe is, is, you know, we can, we can watch and we can both observe and see knowing this. So Every country in the world, they incorporated themselves on a date where the planet Pluto was aligning in such a way that they had ultimate power when they created that corporation. Wow. So every 250 years, approximately, Pluto returns again, and you see a massive fall from power. That was uh, when Castro was, was killed, when the Iron Curtain fell. Those were the dates that Pluto returned on that date. That was what happened in those countries. Well, for the United States, Pluto returns February 22 of 2022, and I believe it's uh, Jupiter and Mercury, or Mercury, I think, are both at 22 degrees alignment. So everybody around the world that even watches them are all watching us right now because they said it's it's United States time. There's going to be a massive fall from power um, around this time we're following. So there's events there's definitely events that you can look at that point to it that that align with prophecy whether it's the the mayan prophecies or the biblical prophecies they all align with certain things yeah i I agree agree. even even what they what they used to call the y2k uh that was not according to the mayan calendar and stuff that was not uh uh the year 2000 I believe that was starting like around 2012, maybe it was, you know, the Roman calendar is different than like the Mayan calendars and the different ones, like by 12 years or something like that. Right. So there were, there were events, there were things that happened, 
you know, and, and there's been shifts and, and a lot of things when you, if you pay attention to some of the planetary alignments, what you're going to see basically is a shift in consciousness. Yes, it's happening. So, so think about what's happening. We're getting, you know, we're in February now. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it all around me where there's a shift in consciousness where people are waking up in mass. I mean, they're all of a sudden sitting here like, what? Yeah. People you didn't expect to see ever question. Right. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. No, no. Yeah. yeah. So, so, you so, know, I think they have shift. a place. And as far as, as far as working together with people, definitely certain signs work together better yeah i agree with that you know yeah. you know i have i've got three brothers uh sagittarius scorpio and cancer um me and my cancer brother always always work together the others they just did we just you know and, and you see that through families you can see mm -hmm. and and the same with children you know you get you, you there's certain ones that the the i don't know what it's just that they resonate more right yeah. There are certain ones that resonate more and then certain ones that, and, and it's like you, you can learn to resonate with everybody, but by nature, certain things, you know, certain alignments probably do strengthen that, make it easier. I agree. I don't know. Okay. What, what's your, what's your thought? I, I want to hear what you think. I agree. I, I think you can't base everything on it. Like you said, um, on, on the Zodiac signs, but, um, it does explain some things. Um, it um it gives some clarity to why we do what we do, why we connect with certain people, um, why we can make things happen, you know, with certain people when aligned with certain people, why certain things are you know go down in you know destruction of fire. I know, I know some other people that I mean, like my mom, she loved the old farmer's elm, and she would look at that and. You know, sometimes try to plant her garden by what it said as far as the the almanac always had the best planting dates and they were using astrology to align the stars and she said i used to think it was silly but she said i've noticed if i plant on those days the, the plants do way better so she wow. said there must be something to it 